During my eight years as the chief official White House photographer for the Obama administration, I documented all the important moments of his presidency. The emotion, the tough decisions, the stressful times, the fun times, but also showing what he was like as a dad, as a husband, just as a human being. To me, that shows how the job of the president should be done. That is a clip from the new documentary titled The Way I See It, which airs tonight at 10 p.m. on MSNBC. The film offers an unprecedented look behind the scenes at Presidents Barack Obama and Ronald Reagan as seen through the eyes of renowned White House photographer Pete Souza. And Pete joins us now. Pete, good morning. It's great to see you. So this was a documentary airing tonight on MSNBC that comes off your best-selling book of photographs. How did this come to life in documentary form? Uh, well, I was approached by uh, Laura Dern and her production partner, Jamie Lemons, along with uh, Evan Hayes, who produced Free Solo, about participating in a, in a documentary film. And I thought about it for a couple of months, and I agreed to uh, be a part of this. So these photographs, so many of them, and I'm thinking about one in particular. Uh, a fan, well, that's a great shot right there. But another one in the Situation Room. Uh, during the bin Laden raid, you truly were a fly on the wall to history. And you saw so much, not just with President Obama, but also with President Reagan. What, what is it like, not necessarily in the easy or the happy moments, but in the difficult moments, to be in the room for something like the bin Laden raid? Well, I mean, I think um, that was probably the tensest 40 minutes of his presidency, with, with, without a doubt. And, um, you know, and my job is to try to capture the, the mood and the motion that's taking place as it plays out in front of my camera and doing it in a way where I'm not interfering at all with what's, what's happening. Uh, but I have to say that that, you know, was uh, obviously in a historic day. And, you know, we didn't know how the raid was going to turn out. And if it had turned out the wrong way, it still would have been a historic day and a, and a different kind of uh, result, unfortunately. Pete, I want to take another look at a clip from the film that again airs tonight on MSNBC. Let's watch. This is Jacob Philadelphia. At one point, Jacob's mom said, Mr. President, Jacob has a question for you. So Jacob's kind of like, Mr. President, my friends tell me that my haircut is just like yours. And with that, uh, President Obama bent over, Jacob touched his head, click, I got one photo, and it was gone. That image was what Barack Obama had said to us two years ago in an office in Chicago. That kid is literally can't even believe, even though he's seeing the President of the United States in the Oval Office, until he can feel his hair, he doesn't truly believe that he's just like me. That single image stands for so much more. It stands for how kids will see themselves differently forever. But two, I think it tells you something about Barack Obama, that at the behest of a five-year-old kid, you would go ahead, bend over, and let that kid touch your head like that. It was a beautiful moment. There's so many beautiful moments captured by you, Pete Souza. Um, what does it take uh, to be to be chosen for a job like that? What are the attributes and what are the techniques that you put into to play every day to be able to capture such personal moments, such important moments, and not get in the way of the moment? Yes, I mean, some, somebody the other day called me a professional chameleon. And I said that I was gonna use that because I thought that probably describes it pretty accurately where you are trying to just blend into what's taking place and not interfering, just hanging around, just being there all the time. Because obviously you don't know, know when history can happen. You don't know when these fleeting moments that are so revealing about uh, the president as a human being, you don't know when other, those are gonna happen unless you're, unless you're there. Hey, Pete, um, nobody, uh, none of us, 
uh, 320 million people cannot begin to imagine uh, the pressures that are on presidents. You have been around quite a few. Um, what can you tell us behind the scenes about the daily pressures, the hourly pressures, the pressures by the minute that these men face? You know, we sit here, it's so easy for us to criticize this move or that move by every president, uh, but it really is, it's at another level. Can you, can you give us a moment where you saw that firsthand? Yeah, I mean, I will say that, you know, working at the White House and, and I think for a president too, it's as if you're trying to take a sip of water from a fire hose that never shuts off. That's a, an analogy that Andy Card, I think, uh, came up with. But, you know, the, 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 I, I, I would tell your view is that the, the decisions that come to the president's desk are the ones that haven't been solved before they get to the desk. It's the difficult ones. And I can tell you, like, there are so many days where there was not just one big decision there to make. There were like five. And you've got to be able to move from one topic to another uh, all in the course of the same day. And, you know, you, you have a meeting in the Oval Office, you finish that meeting, and you go down to the Situation Room, and you have a meeting about Afghanistan. And it was like that constantly. And I, I think people sort of lose sight of the fact that, you know, it, every day there's multiple decisions that a president has to make. And you got such a rare look at all of it. We'll be watching tonight, Pete. It's called The Way I See It. It airs commercial free documentary tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern, again, right here on MSNBC. Pete Souza, thank you very much. Uh Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.